Hey you guys, what's up? It's Taylor Grant. I'm here with Bellator Claims Resolution and I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. All right, today's comes to us from Yolanda of Greeley, Colorado. I had a home fire that left my home inhabitable. Uninhabitable, maybe. The insurance company was quick to pay the claim at a lowball estimate. However, the adjuster needed to investigate the claim. My policy provided for temporary housing, or sometimes what's called additional living expenses. The insurance company adjuster decided that, knowingly knew that I had no electrical wiring for electricity and no hot water, felt the insurance company would no longer continue to pay for my temporary housing. What? If, if there is a limit, say you, they have a $5,000 limit on additional living expenses and you hit that limit, they're right. But if all of a sudden they just want to be like, hey, we don't want to pay for your additional living expenses, sorry, get out. That's not right. So that's when you need to contact somebody to help you. All right, which left me and my children without a place to go. Now that's sad. Additionally, the insurance company told me to pay for my own temporary housing, which is a financial hardship because I'm still paying a mortgage. And that's the thing people have to understand. In, in a fire situation, you don't just get to stop paying your mortgage. You might be able to contact your mortgage company. So maybe this is something that you could do is let them know you're having a severe hardship. If your house freaking burns down, that is considered a severe hardship and see what options they might have, okay? But you gotta keep that in mind. Like you might be living somewhere else and paying your mortgage. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, insurance company appears to only care about their financial proceeds and revenue. Guess what? Insurance companies are for-profit corporations. Guess what for-profit corporations do? They make money. What? Some are non-profit, okay, corporations, and guess what they still do? They make money, okay? But this is the deal. If you need help and you're not being treated fairly, you have to get somebody working for you on your side for your best interest on your insurance claim. Now, we do property insurance claims for commercial properties, industrial properties, residential properties. We've worked on municipalities and school districts, okay? So contact us today if you need help, bellatorclaims.com.